Uh, hello, everyone, and I was going to say welcome to Lone Wolf, the Chasm of Doom. Unfortunately, we're looking at Shadow on the Sand, which is not the right adventure. In just a second here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to make sure my uh, action chart is at least properly, semi-properly filled out. I haven't picked tracking yet. I think I'm going to, but... That was what I did last time I did this, when I actually wasn't recording the audio. Just a second here. This damn earpiece doesn't quit breaking. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, uh, you were a lone wolf, the last of the Kai Lords. To the south of your homeland of Summerland lies the rich but remote mining province of Ruanon. When a regular shipment of gold suddenly vanishes, the king dispatches a patrol of his best cavalry to investigate the suspected theft. They do not return. In the Chasm of Doom, you are sent to recover the missing gold and locate the Lost Patrol, but you soon discover that it is a mission of direful consequence, for the fate of your very country is at stake. Joe Dever is a cool dude. Gary Chalk draws creepy stuff, and Project Aeon is where you can go get the stuff uh, to play for yourself, or just read along, or what have you. Forward! For Brian Ansel, Rick Priestley, cool guy, and Richard Hallowell. Don't know the other two, but Rick Priestley did a little... He was just an awesome guy for Games Workshop. I'd imagine a rather decent chap all around. Uh, I'm lagging a little bit. Let me close some stuff. I have Steam open. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, Joe Deaver's acknowledgments. And... Credits? Look at them! Anyway, we got my stats sorted out. I realized I was wearing two helmets, which... There's nothing that says you can't do that, but it is a bit weenie, so got rid of that. I've got my dagger, my short sword, my summer sword, my padded waistcoat, my fire spear, my silver helmet, my crystal star uh, pendant, a couple of meals, a couple healing potions, five coins. There we go. Story so far. Ruanon is a remote mining province to the south of your homeland, Summerland. Nestling between the sullen peaks of the Durncrag and the Machin Mountains, the people of this province have long prospered for their, from their toil in the ore-rich mines, living and enjoying their wealth under the protection of their lord, Baron Vanalon. The gold and gems that are mined at Ruanon yield an important source of revenue to your homeland. The heavily guarded convoy of wagons that leave the province and journey to the capital has become a regular monthly routine. A routine that had never been broken until one month ago, when suddenly all contact with Ruinon ceased. A troop of 100 cavalry from the King's Guard were immediately dispatched to investigate the whereabouts of the missing convoy. Their commanding officer, Captain Duvall, was ordered to report back to the King as soon as contact was made. But he and his men have not returned. They too have disappeared without a trace. We will remember Captain Duvall from, I believe, the first book. Another cool guy. The king has summoned you, Lone Wolf, last of the Kai Lords, to his citadel at Holmgard. Your quest is to find Captain Duvall and his men, discover what happened to the missing convoy, and to uncover the veil of mystery that now hangs over Ruinon. The king has gathered a company of border rangers, a unit of elite scouts, all of whom are skilled in horsemanship and outdoor survival. He has ordered these fifty men to accompany you, and hope that with your leadership they may succeed where the larger and more visible force failed. As you and your men enter the royal armory to equip yourselves for the long ride ahead, you glimpse a black crow perched on the window ledge high above. It flies away, but not before a shiver runs down your spine. In Holmgard, the bird is a, the crow is a bird of ill omen. Tell that to Grimeth. Grimeth is uh, one of the people I'm subscribed to, and he just started doing a lone wolf, so give him, can, head on over to his channel, lend him some support. He's the random number generator hates him. Um, okay, let's see. We don't have camouflage. That wouldn't be a bad idea. What else don't we have? We don't have tracking. We don't have mind over matter. We have just about everything else. Wait, do we have healing, mindless hunting, six inch animal kinship? Okay, so two more, and then the last one you get at the start of book six. Hmm, I've been screwed a couple times by not having mind over matter. Let's go for it. <clears throat> Camouflage is nice, and tracking's handy, but I've, I've done pretty good so far without them. I think we'll live. And then we'll take a... Mm, probably tracking for the next one. <clears throat> 
Before leaving Holmgard on your right south, you are given a map of the Southlands, a badge of rank to wear upon the sleeve of your tunic, and a bag of gold. To find out how much gold is in the pouch, pray to the random number god. There's four gold in the pouch. Whatever. Gold's less important once you get out of the second book. Uh, if you have successfully completed any previous adventures, you may take your pick of the following items. Remember, you can only carry two weapons, and you may take up to six of the following. Two potions... Five special rations, maybe. Chainmail waistcoat. Shield. Wow. Uh, each meal is an item. I will take the waistcoat. Because uh, <laughs> you can wear that with the padded waistcoat. It's typically how they were worn. Gives me an extra couple hit points, which is important since I lost some of my fingers in Calte. Um, I don't really need anything else. I uh, may as well take the two healing potions. Well, I'll take one of them. Let's see, four. I'll take both of them. Da -da, da -da, da -da. And we'll take another meal. I don't really see anything else. I need. I don't need another shield. I could take one, just to be silly, but... Okay. Sounds good. Uh, we know about combat. Uh, we are a... war man now. Very cool. Uh, fraught with danger. There are several routes to ruin on, but only one will enable you to reach the mining town and find Captain Duvall with the minimum of danger. A wise choice of Kai disciplines and a great deal of courage should enable any player to complete the mission, no matter how weak his initial combat skill. Hmm. Well, having completed Book 2 really helps, because we have a shield, a helmet, and the summer sword, giving us an extra, well, almost doubling our combat skill. <coughs> one. For three days, you lead your brave company of rangers across the lush plains of southern Summerland on the first stage of your urgent mission. The flat, treeless fields surround you with a seemingly endless expanse of wheat, so high that even you are in the saddle, that even though you are in the saddle, it reaches well above your knees. Your horses seem to be swimming through a vast yellow sea of corn that is only interrupted by the occasional track or a group of isolated farmhouses. The southerners welcome your sudden appearance, but you only make the briefest stops for food and rest, neither wishing to risk becoming a burden nor alarm these good people with your mission. They're a pretty big adventuring party. By noon on the fourth day, you reach the pass of Moitura. Ooh, I forgot to get the map, didn't I? Uh, map. Map. Map? Map. Map? Hmm. Second. Ah, Southern Summerland. That's what we want. There we go. So we're up at Home Guard. We're at the pass. Of... Wow, that was quick. We got Ruin on. There's the Mocking Gorge. There was a battle there. I think the next adventure is down here. There's Ragadorn. That's where we went in the second one. Over here is a uh, hammer. Hammer. I can't remember. Hammer something. <laughs> Making Meyer Swamp. Doesn't that sound lovely? Anyway, uh, back to the book. Go back. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so an appearance. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Reach the Pass of Moitura. Here the plains give way to the broken foothills of the Dern Crag Mountains. You soon reach a highway. The surface is cracked and full of potholes, heading off towards the south. This is the notorious Ruinon Pike. Uh, that'd be this, I guess. South of the pass, the Ruinon Pike crosses a hundred miles of open territory known as the Raiders' Road. Bandit tribes from the Wildlands and Gaiac warbands from the mountains of the west frequently ambush those who travel along the pike, and the regular shipment of gold and gems from these mines at Ruinon have sometimes yielded rich pickings to these merciless robbers. Point and flankers, you shout, and immediately three groups of rangers peel away from the column and spur their horses to a gallop. You watch with pride as the expert horsemen take up their scouting positions to the front and side of the company. It is late afternoon when the ranger scout approaches the company from the west. He points towards a craggy outcrop where a thin spiral of wood smoke betrays a hut hidden beneath the overhanging rock. Well, let's investigate. Maybe they've seen something. 
An escort of five rangers accompanies you along the twisting narrow track that leads to the hut. The rough stone walls are covered with a damp moss into which is set a curious oval door. There are no windows. You have dismounted and are approaching the door, when suddenly a man's voice calls from inside the hut. Come in, lone wolf. I've been expecting you. If you wish to open the door, if you wish to draw your weapon and kick open the door, if you wish to send your rangers into the hut. Well, we have them for a reason. Your men push through the door with their swords and quickly enter. You hear a muffled voice, and a ranger soon reappears at the door. It's safe, my lord, he says, and stands aside to allow you to enter. In the dim light of the interior, you see an old man seated at the table. The flicker of a log fire is all that illuminates this foul-smelling hovel, yet it sheds enough light for you to see the clutter of charts and strange instruments that crowd the hut. The man slowly raises his gaze from a large crystal spear and bids you sit opposite him. You know my name. How? you ask warily. The stars foretold of our meeting long ago, lone wolf, he replies, slowly passing his withered old hands around the sphere. Be not alarmed by my knowledge, for I wish only to aid you. He produces a small scroll of parchment from within his robe, and he hands it to you. Upon the scroll is written the following verse. When the full moon shines o'er the temple deep, a sacrifice will stir from sleep. The legions of a long-forgotten lord, when a fair royal maid on the altar dies, the dead of the mocking gorge shall rise to claim their long-awaited reward. And there's our friend. He's a dude. You ask the meaning of the strange verse, but the old man does not answer you. He seems to have fallen into a deep trance. You lean across the cluttered table to awaken him, and are shocked to see your hand pass straight through his body. Gradually, his image begins to fade, and within seconds, he has disappeared completely. You place the scroll in your pocket. Mark this as a special item on your active action chart. Creepy scroll. And that's enough for this section, I believe. Yes? Yeah, good enough. I'll see you guys in the next bit. Uh, 273.